Hey, y'all. Um, I've been a little upset. <sighs> um. Yeah, I've been having a really rough morning. Um, I had a fan basically send me um, an Instagram DM and said, you know, oh, did you see the Ashley Reality Roundup article? And I didn't even read it all. I just skimmed through it really, really quick. But basically, I was on this podcast. I was doing it as a favor for someone who reached out to me. And they said, oh, we interview many reality stars and stuff. And we would love to see what you're up to and just have you on our podcast. And I'm like, okay, sure, cool. So I go do the interview. And, you know, it was great. And we talked about a lot of tough subjects. And um, they promoted it. And we even filmed it. There was a whole 45 minute video conference call that they turned into a podcast and they were later going to release on YouTube. Well, they did research about me. They knew who I was. They knew all the bad publicity that I get sometimes. And um, they still wanted me on their podcast. It, even in the introduction, they even said it themselves. You know, a lot of people told us not to have her on our podcast. We have Janelle Evans, who you might recognize. She was on 16 and Pregnant and then Teen Mom 2. She is one of the OGs. Yeah, if you don't recognize her, maybe you're a person who doesn't own a TV. You're more of a bookworm. <laughs> it's possible. But it's interesting. Janelle has led an incredibly interesting life, very tumultuous. She was let go from Teen Mom last year, which is very public knowledge. And she talks about it in our interview. And, and some people were saying, hey, don't have Janelle on. What are you doing? And we were like, hey, we can talk to whoever we want. And then we researched it to make sure it was okay. And then ultimately we felt like it was fine. We felt like it was fine. I do love stories of redemption. They're all for it. And um, yeah, everything was great. So they aired it. And now a few days later, there's all bad articles written about me saying that the podcast was taken down and that they did ask me some tough interview questions, but ultimately, um, you know, oh, we decided to take down our podcast because we didn't realize how harshly we would have got harassed by all these haters um, reaching out to us, which is totally understandable, but you didn't even contact me to tell me that you're taking down the podcast and explain yourself. You went to the media first and explained yourself. So, but you said that, you know, you weren't looking to put me on a high pedestal or give me more publicity that I already have. Well, let me tell you, I get enough publicity and I don't need any more if I don't want it. You think I need your publicity for your podcast? No. So with that being said, you know, it made me really upset because I have been in a bubble since, you know, I left the show and I really try not to bring it up, but I'm still trying to get over being traumatized and not knowing I was traumatized over these years. And now my mind is starting to realize a lot from my past and it's been making me really upset lately. So I've been trying to deal with like these inner demons inside of me that keep being brought up and on, um, now the old season of Teen Mom 2 is airing on Netflix season one and two and I either people have reaching out to me saying oh I'm so glad I can relate to you you've changed so much I've seen how hard in the seasons season one and two I saw how hard you were trying to be a mom and your mom wouldn't let you or I get the total opposite you're a piece of shit mom I saw how you raised your son they're basically still trying to tell me that's how I am today which I'm not at all I'm completely changed different person and have are you a different person from when you were 17 would you take risk at 17 years old that you wouldn't take now of course it's all about living and learning so if you watch season one and two one and two of teen mom on Netflix please don't reach out to me and hate 
just know that if I make you upset in those episodes, I am a changed person right now. And I'm trying to continue, you know, sharing it all with you guys. Whether it's good or bad, like this podcast. So, I finally have opened up and start sharing with you guys again what I'm up to. And it took me a long time to get to that point. To be comfortable enough to even get on camera to talk like this. Like, this was weird as hell for me. It took me a long time to trust anybody and to go on any podcast. I'm still kind of like halfway in my bubble. And I'm trying to come out and be comfortable enough. But um, it's slowly and but surely getting there. But now with this podcast being taken down, I just... it's It's really upsetting because... You try to move on with your life. You try to explain the past because that's their question. So if you ask me a question, I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be totally open with you. That's just the type of person I am. And now I just completely feel shut out again and I don't know who to trust anymore. So I was thinking to myself, what is a way to turn this around where you're not upset and you're taking a negative situation to make it positive. And you know what we're going to do? Podcast. So I know I've been explaining this for a while or trying to touch on it here and there. I have no plan. I am my own person. And I got to I gotta schedule this all by myself. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take a YouTube video of me cleaning out my shed and getting it prepared and ready to start my podcast. Maybe we'll name it In the She Shed or The Tea in the Shed or I don't know. You guys leave some comments below what we can name this podcast. We'll see where this gets us. I'm going to try to do like weekly podcasts and I'm going to have guests sometimes. I'm not going to have guests. I might have a co-host. I might not. I don't know. I've been thinking about this in my head for like a year or two and I just haven't put it into action, this plan. So um, yeah, let me know what topics you want me to talk about, what topics you want me to cover. Everything's going to be unfiltered, as unfiltered as I can make it without being shut down, just put it that way, (laughs) and without pissing everyone off. But we will do touchy subjects or whatever, and yes, I will have guests on my podcast, and no, I will not shut them down. Yeah, with that being said, It's cold as hell outside, but let's do it. Mm. Get a little reference mark there. Reference mark. So we took out all my stuff from the she shed and We're about to lay down some flooring. So I picked out this really, really cool peel and stick wood and we're gonna lay it down. I'm super excited to get it down. You see this, how I've cut it? You don't, I just, I only scrape the very surface. And then like crack it? Yeah. A little bit deeper. Uh, and then you put your cut edge to the wall and you put your factory edge right there and then when we put trim right here like even if there's a like so we get to the other side and there's a tiny 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 gap it don't really matter if there's a gap like this big we'll put a piece in there now, should we use this small, small gap? Trim. Should we use this small piece starting down there now? Yep, that's exactly what we're going to do. And then you stagger it? Yep. Cool. Why, why, why? Why, 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 Because isn't that pretty? It's a pretty floor. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, but uh, I, I, I want to watch you. Don't, <laughs> hey, don't touch. <laughs> Mommy, I like your floor, though. Thank you. Don't you want the inside of the house to look like this, too? Yeah. You can get new floors. This, this, that, that, so it goes down quick, don't it, babe? Yeah. It 
Keep the floor clean so the glue sticks from these tiles. Oh, that's a cold, Dad. See, these, yeah. are, these are sticky. And then you peel it off like a sticker and put it to the floor. Cool. Like your big sticker. I know. We're going to be done. Cool. No time, dude. I know. I can't wait. Oh, you got to make sure when you're going what? that if there's a nail sticking up, we're going to hit it in. Mom, oh, okay. I don't know if there was. Uh, oh, too late now. Yeah, I know. Okay. I can't. You hear me say shit everywhere. Hurry up. You hear me say hurry up. Dude, it's gonna be so nice. I'm nice. You don't love me. No, they say you're not nice to the media. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The media's opinion matters, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm freezing. I don't know why. Because I'm, I'm like, not up running around like this. I'm like extra hot right now. I'm down here not doing anything. And I keep picking up the wheel. You're such a great picker upper after her. I'm out of help. Oh, I'm freezing. Maybe it's because I don't have no hair. Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> Actually. I was just you. Um, you, you need to cut that because it's not going to fit. It's going to be cut. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, if I go crazy, then will you still call me Superman? I don't know. Maybe. Wait. Don't go past it. Let me just drink my beer. Let you do it. Wrong. Mm. Don't flag me, YouTube. <laughs> uh. All right, this is the only annoying part right here. The only annoying part? In you, but you know. Oh, oh, you. Uh. Actually, the sheetrock will cover pretty much the whole crack all the way around, which is the, the only good thing about putting down flooring before you do sheetrock is the sheetrock covers all the edges. The only bad thing about that is you can get your flooring a little bit dinged up when you're installing sheetrock. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we gotta be careful with the floor just while we're putting sheetrock in. Yeah, well, we'll probably do the sheetrock after we finish the upstairs anyway, so. But, um. Until then. <laughs> we got, we got insulation already, and we want to go ahead and use this thing, so we want to go ahead and get the floor in before we. Yeah. I just really want, you know, Jace's room done. Yeah. Before I had sheetrock in here, because his room is like 75% done. Can't wait, because he'll love it. Oh, like yeah. His. Well, that ain't one of the things, okay? Yeah. Uh, do you think you have should put a new piece out? Oh. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with it. It's not sticking. It's sticky. It's just not. Uh, I think maybe needs some heat on it. Once we put the heater in here, all this stuff will, all this stuff is gonna loosen up and flatten out and the glue is gonna get really, really sticky once it gets 
And also think um, stepping on it a lot while it's yeah. hot, while it's hot, you know. Get the kids coming here and do some moon walks. Do some TikTok dancing <laughs> on it. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I gotten done so far. I painted the ceiling white. Probably needs a second coat, but that's okay. <laughs> and the floors look amazing. But you can see the finish on the floor. It looks really, really good to just be peel and stick, if you ask me. Now, I do have to swiffer it. It is kind of dirty, but yeah, I like how everything's turning out so far. So I ordered another microphone for my podcasting setup and I ordered little tripod stands for a table to put them on and they're coming in the mail, Amazon and then Guitar Center setting them. So that'll be cool. And then I have to do the insulation on the top of my shed, which I've been stalling about because it's really itchy work <laughs> and it gets all over my face. It gets in my cheeks right here in my pores and then I have to scrub them out. Yeah, I hate insulation work. It sucks. So um, since this video is so long, I guess I'm going to do a part two when I finish. But I have someone working on my podcasting logo. So that's in the works. I'm really excited about it. And um, yeah, I'm just finishing up the shed. So I hope you guys like this vlog. You know, Christmas break is over. Kaiser has started school again, so I'm a, I'm I'm gonna be a little backed up, but I'm gonna try to get this done as fast as I can. Life's good. Um, I have a docu series that's gonna be coming out. I actually yesterday I filmed for like <laughs> five hours, so stay tuned for that because that's gonna be coming out very soon, and that will be ten episodes. But, you know, I'm a one-person army, and I do this all myself, so bear with me. <laughs> it's a lot of work I do, and 
I tend to open up a lot of projects and do a lot of things at once and then I get all stacked up. Marissa started school back on campus, which is really cool and she wasn't a problem, but Kaiser hasn't started back on campus yet. And they said that they don't really have that much room right now. And um, I understand because COVID cases are growing up in North Carolina. So I wouldn't be surprised if they actually shut down the schools again. Hopefully they don't, but that might happen. Hopefully he can get back on campus soon, so I'm not the teacher's assistant, but for now he's making really good grades. He actually just got his progress report in and it's really, really good. Also, let me show you Kaiser's um, school picture. That's our updated school pictures. Pretty cute. I make some cute kids, don't I? Um, I'll check in with you guys when I get the shed a little bit more done and put together and all styled up. Peace.